In today's show, the MicroStrategy CEO, Michael Saylor, reveals what he'll do when his $425 million Bitcoin investment surges 100x. He says he'll continue to hold Bitcoin for the next 100 years. That's right, in a recent interview right here with the Real Vision CEO, Raul Pal, he goes on the record to share, this is not speculation nor a hedge. It is a deliberate corporate strategy to adopt the Bitcoin standard. And when in comparison to gold, he goes on the record to share, Bitcoin is not 100 times better than gold, it's a million times times better than gold and there is nothing close to it. I'll be giving you all the highlights right here in today's show. Also in today's episode, I'll be sharing the latest from Max Kaiser, who recently tweeted, the Bitcoin prices lag in hash rate by a considerable margin. The current hash rate trends infer a $35,000 to $50,000 Bitcoin price. That's right. And Max Kaiser recently shared that Warren Buffett will see his wealth hyperinflate while the Bitcoin price does 40 to 80x. Now, if Bitcoin 40x from the time he made this prediction, that would put the Bitcoin price at 440000 and 80x. That means the Bitcoin price would skyrocket to 800 and 80,000. I'll be breaking this down for you in today's show. And if you're not familiar with the Kaiser Report, Max has been telling people to buy Bitcoin since 2011. Millions have heard that call and they've created hundreds of thousands of Bitcoin millionaires globally. Here's the proof in the put-in. Check it out. And this is the biggest story of this decade going forward is the transition from the old way of doing business around the world to the Bitcoin way of doing business, which is purely anonymous. And this is the uh, great achievement of the global insurrection against banker occupation. Bitcoin is the currency of the resistance. Also in today's episode, Paul Tudor Jones says Bitcoin is like investing early in Apple or Google. That's right. In a recent interview with Squawk Box, the legendary investor says, I came to the conclusion that Bitcoin was going to be the best of the inflation trades. The defensive trade says Paul Tudor Jones. Bitcoin has a lot of characteristics of being an early investor in a tech company. It's like investing with Steve Jobs and Apple. We'll be talking about this in today's show. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin is up about a half a percent. Most of the major altcoins are in in the green as well but where's the bitcoin price likely to go from here find out all this plus so much more in today's show Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And before I kick off today's show, if interested in tapping into OPM, leveraging other people's money to grow your wealth and crypto portfolio, then smash that link right below this video in the description. All right. Welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV, and let's get it off by diving into today's top story of the day. The MicroStrategy CEO, Michael Saylor, reveals what he'll do when his $425 million Bitcoin investment surges 100x. He says he's going to continue to hold Bitcoin for the next 100 years. That's right. The MicroStrategy CEO, Michael Saylor, says he will hold this company's Bitcoin for 100 years and has no intention of selling it. On August 11th, the business intelligence firm announced it had purchased 21,454 Bitcoin for a quarter billion dollars. This investment is now worth more than 278 million. Not too shabby of an ROI, huh? Representing an 11% increase in just two months and has purchased more Bitcoin since. In a new interview with the Real Vision CEO, Raul Pal, which I'll include in the show notes below the video in the description, it's entitled Bitcoin Infiltrates Corporate America with Michael Saylor and Raul Pal. And now for some of the highlights. Saylor said the decision to invest a quarter billion was informed by a discussion between its board of directors and its firm's investors, auditor, and executives. Saylor explained, this is not speculation nor a hedge. It is a deliberate corporate strategy to adopt the Bitcoin standard. MicroStrategy decided to restructure its treasury in response to the recent global economic uncertainty, looking to explore assets suited to providing a long-term store value. But after considering a wide variety of options with a 100-year outlook, Saylor decided Bitcoin was the only option. Tax and fees kill almost all other assets, he concluded, and those that aren't killed are instead crippled because they're controlled by a CEO, government, or country. Touche. He ain't telling no lies. Bitcoin, on the other hand, is evolving, and over time, it gets harder, stronger, and faster, Saylor concluded, describing Bitcoin as a hive of cybernetic hornets protected by a wall of encrypted energy. I like that. When looking at Ethereum as an alternative to Bitcoin, he told Raul Pal it didn't compare as they're still chasing after functionality. He explained that it still has to be proven, adding they are centralized competitors to it. 
and they are talking about Ethereum, not done with the functional architecture yet. The fact that Bitcoin is so big compared with all the other cryptos is the market screaming to you, there is a winner and it's eating the world. Sailor asserted Bitcoin is the world's best collateral and doesn't even compare to gold or any other commodities. He told Raul Pal that if you hold 100 million in cash over 100 years, you will lose 99% of it. And if you held gold, you will still lose 85% at best. Sailor described Bitcoin as performing similar monetary utility as gold, only better and without fear of dilution, likening Bitcoin to gold as what steel is to bricks. He goes on to share, Bitcoin, if not a hundred times better than gold, it is a million times better than gold and there is nothing close to it. Let me know if you agree or disagree with Michael Saylor. I agree as Bitcoin has a finite limited supply market cap of 21 million. What's the supply cap of gold? Nobody knows. It's a mystery. They can continue to find more and more, and you have to trust a central third party in which, with Bitcoin, we only have to trust mathematics. We don't need to trust governments. We don't need to trust CEOs or any centralized authority. And with Bitcoin, Saylor argued, anybody can inspect the fact that I own the Bitcoin in one second, and yet it can be sent anywhere in the world for five bucks. He added that he could liquidate 100 million Bitcoin on a Saturday afternoon. Saylor told Powell that many people believe he has weak hands, saying, yeah, Saylor is going to buy it and then he's going to dump it. He's going to buy it and then buy another company with it. He's going to buy it until he gets this profit and do whatever. But in reality, he isn't going to sell it, explaining that he is in it for the long haul. That's right. He went on the record to share. They don't understand the mindset of long. I'm buying it for the dude that's going to work for the dude that's going to get hired by the guy who takes over my job in 100 years. Saylor finished the two hour long interview by noting that his executives are closely watching developers in the crypto space. My whole board is listening to what you guys are saying. Once again, I'll include this entire interview in the show notes below the video. All right, and before I get to Max Kaiser's bullish price predictions and his most recent tweets, first, let's take a look at the overall crypto market. We can see Bitcoin barely in the green, up about 0.43%, now trading at $12,872. We have Ethereum up 1%, trading at $416. We have Link up 5%, trading just above $12. XRP in the red, down 1.3%, trading at $0.25.7. Cents. We have Miss Light. Bitcoin up 0.3%, trading just above $55. Cardano barely up, trading just above 11 cents. We had BNB barely in the green, trading at about $31. So as you can see, most of the crypto market is currently bullish. And I recently asked this poll on crypto Twitter, when will Bitcoin smash $14,000? And 44.4% of you put by this weekend, 28.9% said by the end of the month, 11% in November and 15% in December. Now I hope the majority of you are right and we actually crush that 14K critical resistance this weekend. I feel once we do, it's not gonna be long before we climb to an all-time high and Bitcoin reclaims price discovery mode. And from there, there's no telling how high the Bitcoin price can surge. All right, now let's check out Max Kaiser's bullish price prediction. He says the Bitcoin price is lagging hash rate by a considerable margin. Current hash rate trends infer a 35 to $50,000 Bitcoin price. That's right. Let me know if you agree or disagree with Max Kaiser. He says the Bitcoin price always follows the hash rate. And right now, the current hash rate trends infer a $35,000 to $50,000 Bitcoin price. And earlier this week, he said that Warren Buffett will see his wealth hyperinflate while the Bitcoin price does 40 to 80x. And 40x from the time he made this prediction back when Bitcoin was trading at about 11,500. So let's just say 11,000 for the sake of easy round numbers. That would put the Bitcoin price at 440,000. And if Bitcoin skyrockets, 80x as he predicts that would put the bitcoin price at about eight hundred and eighty thousand dollars let me know if you agree or disagree with max kaiser's bullish price predictions now when it comes to track records you can't deny the fact that max kaiser has been well ahead of the curve he's been telling people to buy bitcoin via the kaiser report since 2011 check this out bitcoin top 100 rich list from 3rd of June 2011. Here's a little video I made of the top 100. As you can see, it's, uh, they're all anonymous. This is fantastic. This is the new Forbes fortune list, isn't it? These are the Bitcoin fortunes. And notice, yes, the, all numbers, it's pure anonymous. And this is the biggest story of this decade going forward is the transition from the old way of doing business around the world to the Bitcoin way of doing business, which is purely anonymous. And this is the uh, great 
achievement of the global insurrection against banker occupation. Bitcoin is the currency of the resistance. That's right. So massive shout out to Max Kaiser and Stacey Herbert of the Kaiser Report. Now, Kaiser says his forensic analysis of the Bitcoin market corroborated by insiders is indicating that futures traders are suppressing the price of Bitcoin to give institutional players a chance to load the boat. He also gave his intermediate price target of $28,000 per Bitcoin. Once the crypto reaches that level, it would be a significant game changer for people's perception of the asset. He goes on to share, when this happens, we'll see something quite unexpected. The retail market for Bitcoin will dry up. The amount of Bitcoin for sale at any price will be increasingly tiny. Institutions, corporations, and governments will be buying Bitcoin directly from miners, presumably at a huge premium. And he goes on to share, people like Warren Buffett will suffer. He says they'll start to panic buy Bitcoin when the asset price jumps to $50,000. Said that people like the prominent investor who have no Bitcoin exposure will see their wealth hyperinflation late to nothing. So there you have it. Let me know if you agree or disagree with Max Kaiser's bullish price predictions. And before I break down our next story of the day, Paul Tudor Jones says Bitcoin is like investing early in Apple or Google. But first, let's take a look at the overall crypto market cap sitting at $395 billion with $105 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. And current Bitcoin dominance is 60.8% according to CoinMarketCap. And now checking out the top gainers within the top 100, we have Ave up almost a whopping 20%. Now trading above 40 bucks, we have Waves up 12%, trading at $3.52. Aragon up almost 10%, trading at $3.31. OMG Network up almost 9%, trading at $3.61. And Arweave up 8.8%, trading at $2.86. And now checking out the biggest losers within the top 100. We have Filecoin down 8%, trading at $23.60. OKB down 5%, trading at $4.64. Ocean Protocol down 4% trading at 34 cents. Decred down 3% trading at $12.86 and ample fourth down 3.8% trading at a dollar four. Now out of this list of the biggest gainers and losers, which altcoins in particular are you most bullish on? Drop me a comment right down below. And now checking out the BitMEX margins. We can see the bulls are back in control, leading with about 17 million in superiority in the last 24 hours, with longs leading 50.6% versus 49.3% shorts. Are you currently bullish or bearish on the king of all crypto? Holla at your boy. And now check Checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we're currently rated a 74 in greed. Yesterday was a 73 greed. Last week, a 52 neutral. And last month, a 43 in fear. And if you're not familiar with the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, extreme fear can be a sign. Investors are too worried. That can be a great buying opportunity, aka BTFD. Buy that freaking dip. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for correction. All right, and before I break down our final story of the day with legendary investor Paul Tudor Jones saying Bitcoin is like investing early in Apple or Google, and I give you the highlights from this recent interview on Squawk Box, First, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the market. This goes for all 575 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also, some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including the blog to my podcast, which could be found at CryptoNewsYes.com. Also, be sure to smash that subscribe button right below this video to help support the channel. If you're listening or tuning in on a different platform outside of YouTube, the direct YouTube link is cryptonewsalerts.net. You can also find us on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify, the home of the Joe Rogan experience, to Apple's iTunes. You'll find the link in the description below. You can also follow us on Twitter to receive daily crypto news alerts. My Twitter handle is crypto news. Yes. Also have a private crypto Facebook group entitled Crypto Alchemy. To join it, click this link request to join and I'll be sure to plug you in and for those of you active on telegram as I am I do have a private crypto telegram chat to join it click this link you'll automatically be added and I'm looking forward to connecting with you personally on the inside all right now let's break down our final story of the day Famed Wall Street investor and billionaire Paul Tudor Jones said that he likes Bitcoin even more than I did then, referring to his initial investment announced in May of 2020. And if you missed the memo, he invested about 2% of his overall investment portfolio into the king of all crypto. And this is a pretty big deal as he's considered one of the legendary investors of our time. Now, Jones praised Bitcoin on CNBC's Squawk Box Morning Show, revealing that he holds a small single-digit investment into the asset. His investment 
thesis remain unchanged. Bitcoin is an excellent hedge against inflation, which is expected to ramp up in the next few years due to central bank intervention. That's right. And regardless if the Democrats or Republicans win, the Fed will always win and continue to print more money. It is what it is. Unprecedented amounts of quantitative easing and balance sheet expansion, in addition to more aggressive commitment to inflation by the Fed, resulted in heightened inflation expectations. That's right. Bitcoin, according to Jones, is one of the best inflation trades when compared to traditional options like gold, treasury, inflation protected securities, copper, and other more complex strategies. Now, if you want to check out this entire interview, I'll include it in the show notes below the video in the description for you to check out and reference for yourself. Now, check this out. He goes on to share, Bitcoin has this enormous contingence of really, really smart and sophisticated people who believe in it, Jones added. It's like investing with Steve Jobs in Apple or investing in Google early. Now, that's very powerful words coming from the legendary investor. Paul Tudor Jones is an industry veteran, first rising to fame for correctly predicting the 1987 stock market crash known as Black Monday. Following his early statements, the Bitcoin community buzzed with excitement due to the endorsement. Some predicted that Jones would soon be become the largest Bitcoin holder. That's right. What if he stepped up his Bitcoin allocation from 2% to 10% or 50% or 85% as MicroStrategy did. For example, check out this tweet from Max Kaiser. Lots of buy stops at 13,000. There is nothing but air between 13K and 19K. Paul Tudor Jones, put up or shut up, bro. So there you have it. And less than 24 hours later, Paul Tudor Jones is on Squawk Box talking about how he loves the king of all crypto. So thank you, Max. And some see Jones' endorsement as a potential icebreaker for more institutional investors who may feel more confident investing in the asset class after familiar names have already made the leap. That's right, and we're witnessing it right now. And now for a quick recap of what I covered with you here in today's show. The MicroStrategy CEO, Michael Saylor, reveals what he'll do when his $425 million Bitcoin investment surges 100x. And it's quite a simple strategy. It's called HODL, the number one rule of Bitcoin. HODL, the number two rule, BTFD, buy that freaking dip. And number three, HODL, be thy name. Once again, I'll include this exclusive interview in the show notes below the video in the description. Also, in today's show, I shared Max Kaiser's recent bullish price prediction showing that the Bitcoin price is lagging hash rate by a considerable margin and that the current hash rate trends infer a $35,000 to $50,000 Bitcoin price as the Bitcoin price always follows the hash rate and also shared with you the fact he said that Warren Buffett will see his wealth hyperinflate while the Bitcoin price does 40 to 80x, which would put the Bitcoin price at $880,000 regarding the time he made this bullish price prediction. Also in today's show, Paul Tudor Jones says that Bitcoin is like investing early in Apple or Google, as I shared with you the highlights from this recent interview with Squawk Box. And now checking out the best year-to-date asset performances, we have Bitcoin leading the pack up a whopping 80% plus, followed by gold up 29%, followed by the NASDAQ up 28%, followed by US 10-year treasury up 15%, followed by the S&P 500 up 6%, followed by the dollar index down 3%, go figure, and followed by crude oil down a whopping 36%. So where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go from here? Drop me a comment right down below. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day just like this. And real quick, before I go, if interested in tapping into OPM, leveraging other people's money to grow your wealth and crypto portfolio, then smash that link right below the video in the description and register for this free system entitled OPM Wealth. You'll be glad you did. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.